Hey guys, so um, thought I'd dust off my old YouTube channel here, um, which has been defunct for years, and uh, share the design for the 01 case I just did. This is specifically kind of for development for the current version. Hardware is going to be changing and stuff like that, but this is for the stuff that's on GitHub right now as of April 12th. 2024 um, this is done in fusion 360 um, pretty sure I've stuck to all features that are available in the free version um, I'm sure I'll hear about it on discord if not and please definitely let me know but I'm pretty sure I, I haven't used any of like the like the geometric patterning or anything like that from some of the extensions um, I'll walk people through the model uh, okay, so this is designed for SLA printing, like any cubic, you know, form lapse printers, which is what I've got here. Um, anything like that, uh, you know, you're going to do all right here. So uh, FDM printing, it is not designed for. If there's uh, some interest, I'll design an FDM version, but the FDM version is going to be a little, like, chunky. It's going to have to have some, you know, like probably the FDM version is going to be flat here and flat here. So, you know, it's got a way to sit on the bed, etc. Um, all right. So if you are um, using Fusion 360, you can download. Now, actually, if you're using any software. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'll post this link. Um, it'll be in the description here. I'll also stick it in Discord, in the, the 01 hardware chat. Um, so I'll post this link. You'll be able to download it here. If you're using Fusion, you download the Fusion Archive file. You should be able to you know, open it up. Just use that, edit that directly. I'll walk you through the model. So if you're using Fusion, um, you know, I'll walk you through so you can edit and stuff if you want to make changes. Uh, if you're using like SketchUp, SketchUp version of the file, if you're using like Tinkercad, if you can only like, uh, or if you're just 3D printing or whatever, um, you know, you want STLs, you can download that stuff here. Um, import that stuff into SketchUp and do whatever you want with it. This should be pretty uh, friendly across CAD platforms. Um, step file, I just file if you're using SolidWorks. All right. So for those of you who are Fusion users, I'll just walk through how this works. Okay, so. Oh, by the way, um, I went ahead and modeled up. Um, let me open these up. Um, so I went ahead and modeled up the, uh, the boards. Like these are very just purely for function and design. Just taking up the approximate volumes these boards take up. Uh, so if you're like using Tinkercad or SketchUp or whatever, anything that's going to want mesh models, um, you can just download STLs or OBJs of these and use these and they're going to give you your volume. They're not like super accurate, um, but the inaccuracies are intentional. Uh, a couple of things I modeled slightly oversized just to make sure you got clearance, etc., etc. Um, so these are very much usable for, uh, doing whatever designs um, the atom echo that's used in this it's a little box you know a little housing with the speaker and the um, board here in it now to put it in this case you've got to remove the box and the speaker and the board go in the case outside of that enclosure um, also, there's a header you're going to have to pull off and stuff like that. I'll do another video on actually physically assembling this thing after you've printed it. I'm going to try to do it this weekend, but I'm super busy. So all I can do is 
make promises I may or may not keep. Um, all right, so here's the uh, here's the case. And if I hide this, the charging board sits here. The charging port, which as you can see is modeled up very primitively. That's the uh, charging port there. That's the on off switch there. Should match up with these openings. The speaker sits here, the board sits here. Again, I'll do another video assembling this battery sits here. Um, okay, important things to note. Let me hide. Uh, let me hide this stuff. So it's just the model itself. Okay. This. Um, this should be fairly user friendly to play around with. Everything's in groups here. You can see what your feature groups are by the names. So you should be able to find stuff here. Um, all the dependencies, I've modeled it up so it's pretty obvious what depends on what. All the sketches are named. Uh, should be pretty user friendly. If you find an issue, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, all right, so uh, the main uh, thing you're going to have to worry about, you should be able to download this and use it as is. However, different printers have kind of different tolerances they print to. Um, The main thing that affects is the way this thing snaps together. So if you're a Fusion user, pay attention, um, this clearance here by default is at 0.1 millimeters. Now if we go into our parameters, um, the snap adjust parameter is at negative 0.1 millimeters. This is a number you want to adjust. If it fits too tight, maybe you try negative point two and that's going to be a little looser fit so some of your like you know lower end printers you're gonna that are a little less accurate the chances are they're going to print this stuff a little oversized um and you're going to want to put that to negative 0.2 or whatever i've only tried it on form labs printers and this works fine at zero like dead on uh, but it is a little tight so um negative 0.1 seems to be good for me here um that basically changes the width of this gap uh, so the um, bigger you make that gap the smaller this ridge like this ring shaped ridge it goes around gets so the looser the fit is and um, the uh, you know the, the more kind of like forgiveness it's got so if you print something and it's too tight, adjust that parameter. Um, you can adjust the wall thickness and the rib thickness here too, but they're, you, you don't really need to. Like I guess if you want to make a really rugged version, you put that up to two millimeters or something like that. Um, now, for popping it together, you put everything together and uh, you know it's, it's not going to come apart too easy there's a slot here to put like a little screwdriver you know like one of those smaller electronic screwdrivers in um, to pop it apart now if you're printing this out of resin um, pop it apart as infrequently as possible if you want to reflash it you know some updates on github you want to try out need to reflash it or whatever then pop it open other night and leave it shut resin you know, you're going to get a half a dozen openings and closings before things start to chip and stuff. SLA resin is not known for its durability. Uh, I mean, there's some more durable resins, but a lot of them are like dark gray or kind of translucent or, you know, whatever. Like a lot of them don't look great or they printed a lower resolution or whatever. So um, while this features here to enable you to open it and close it, um, I personally will shy away from would shy away from using like opening it and closing it as much as possible. Um, all right, so I'll walk through the assembly and stuff, but basically 
this is this thing's the push button for you know you click it three times talk into it here's the speaker um, there will be a we're looking at other speakers and stuff to use and there'll be an update when we find another one and who knows there's gonna be quite a few updates I'd say on off switches here uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else okay, I think that's it um, so just so you can see how this goes together there's an inside component here that holds everything in place um, these are wire clearances the cables from the battery to the uh, power go through this slot so these cables here are kind of long I wrap them around and I put them through that slot and then they go here um, these cables these leads here um, go to the speaker and um, there's some leads that come out of this header um, that go down to this board right that powers the uh, Atom Echo board now I will put this on the next video this header I've modeled it up but this header actually gets pulled off um, just because it, I want to make this thing as small as possible and it gets too big if that header is on there so this gets yanked off and then you just solder the leads directly to the board or to the little like the little metal things inside the header like I said I'll put up another video to show how that's and it's easier than it sounds um, those run through this clearance here no they don't I got that backwards <laughs> those run through this clearance here these wrap around and run through this clearance because the battery connector this is the battery connector sorry I got that backwards um, so you kinda gotta put everything together kinda get the cables twisted around drop this in the bottom shell there make sure the uh, um, charging ports kinda lined up with the hole on the outside it tends to want to self-locate so that's not too bad then you pop the top on and you're good to go um, it's uh, it's tight in there you may need to like kind of fiddle around with things to get cables to not be in the way and get pinched and stuff like that but uh, it works out pretty well um, this one's taken apart looks like this I don't know if you can see that looks like that um, yeah so anyway um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see I can't like um, model up a ton of stuff because I do have a day job um, but you know like um, I'll try to model up like an FDM friendly version or if there's any improvements like you think of some improvement that you want to see in here don't hesitate to let me know if it's something that I've got time to do and it seems like a something people would be interested in I'll go ahead and and model it up um, yeah so is there anything else I don't think there is probably forgetting something I wanted to say but um, anyway yeah so there's the model uh, do with it what you will and um and yeah let me know if there's anything you uh want me to do to it and uh yeah keep an eye out because i'll be putting another video up on the actual physical assembly um, bye